Dr. Ryan again. I'm a board certified specialist physician. And thank you so much for joining me in this, our 43rd installment of the OSCE series. We are talking about Surazentoma elasticum. Why am I clucking like a chicken? I don't know. Or maybe I do. Still. <laughs> if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Thank you so much for your support, guys. This 38-year-old female says her parents also have loose skin. What's the diagnosis for one mark? What's demonstrated on fundoscopy for two marks? List some clinical features of the disorder for four marks. What is the genetic defect for one mark? Well, let's get stuck in, guys. What is this? This is pseudoxanthoma elasticum. Pseudoxanthoma elasticum, which causes fragmentation of elastic fibers in the tissue and they become very, very loose. So that actually looks like plucked chicken skin, right? The most common problem arises uh, in the fact that the skin and eyes and blood vessels are affected and, and in effect they can produce premature atherosclerosis, right? It's often called plucked chicken skin. One is demonstration of endoscopy, so what we essentially see is angioid streaks representing tears in Bruch's membrane as depicted. All right, list some clinical features of pseudosynthoma elasticum. Well, the skin looks like plucked chicken skin with yellow plaques which resembling xanthomas with a pebbly appearance mostly in the flexural areas. Later on, the skin becomes lax and redundant. Then there's ocular involvement, like we said, angioid streaks which represent tears in Bruch's membrane. Right? And as a result, you get premature atherosclerosis in those vessels, macular degeneration with severe vision loss. Cardiovascular, we said, accelerated atherosclerosis on account of the calcification of the internal elastic lamina. And that leads then to myocardial infarct, stroke, renovascular hypertension at a young age. What's the genetic deficit when we speak about pseudosynthoma elasticum? Mutation in the ABCC6 gene, which codes for elastin and located on chromosome 16. ABCC6 gene, elastin, chromosome 16. Okay, my friends, I just want to talk a little bit about the Apostle Paul. Paul is a mighty apostle of God, right? Um, he was Jewish, but God uh, met with him on the road to Damascus and he came to know the Lord Jesus, right? Now, why would Paul have to be thrown in prison? Right? Do you know that God can even use prison to accomplish his good? Paul said, My circumstances in prison have turned out for the greater progress of the gospel in Philippians 1, 12 through 14. God used Paul's imprisonment to fulfill a number of purposes. Number one, to sanctify Paul. Number two, to convert a number of Paul's jailers. Number three, to give Paul an opportunity to write their epistles. Number four, to encourage many believers to preach fearlessly. You see how God is able to turn the tables on Satan in a way that everything, including imprisonment, which many of us think to be such a terrible thing, can work for the fulfillment of God's divine purposes. And the best example of that is the cross of Jesus Christ. Because the devil thought that he had defeated Jesus by crucifying him. He thought that was the worst thing that can happen to mankind. But God turned that around and the cross of Jesus Christ is the best thing to ever have to happen to mankind. Because through it, we get forgiveness of sins, redemption, and we are declared righteous in God's sight by the precious blood of Jesus. I'm praying for you and I pray that God will turn your situation around for his divine fulfillment of his purposes for you in your life. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon.